Hey guys, this is Anthony Matabano and I'm here with undergroundtraininglab.com and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your blog using our customized WordPress package. Just a couple of quick notes for you guys. This WordPress package will override any of your current configurations with your blog. So I highly suggest that you back up your blog before you go through with this upgrade. And also any plugins that you have installed as well will be deactivated if they're not already supported by our package. So as long as you understand that, I'll show you how you can upgrade this. So here we go. As I just mentioned, we should back up our blog. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to back up your blog's database. So the thing is I use a plugin called WPDB Manager, which you can download here at wordpress.org forward slash extend forward slash plugins forward slash wp dash db manager so I've already downloaded this plugin to my desktop and we'll just start from here okay I'm going to take this package right here that I download this plugin package and we're going to extract it to my desktop and it creates this folder called wp db manager now I need to upload the folder inside here called DB Manager to my plugins directory of my blog. In order to do this, I need to connect to my blog, which I've already done for you. So here I'm going to go to my WP Content folder, and inside here there's a folder called Plugins. I'm going to open that up here, and then I'm going to just upload this DB Manager folder to this WP Content forward slash plugins directory. So now that I've finished uploading the package, I need to log into my blog through my WP admin. So I'm going to go over to my blog and I'm going to go to my login, which is just a forward slash WP dash admin. And I'm going to log in. And now that I've logged in, I want to go to the plugins directory that we have, which you click here on plugins, and it will list all the current plugins installed. You should see a new one that you just uploaded called WPD Manager, which we see here. So we'll click here to activate it. All right, now that we've activated the blog, we can use it to back up our database. So we go back up to the top of our dashboard menu, and you should see a link here that says database. So I'm going to click on database. And now, right here in the sub menu, you should see Backup DB. I'm going to click on Backup DB. And then I'm going to click on Backup. You should scroll down right here at the bottom. You'll see a button called Backup. I'll click on that. And it should give you a message saying that you've backed up the database successfully. Now, what I like to do is download this database onto my local computer just for extra backup. So we can click here on Manage Backup DB. And then you're going to select the database that you just built by clicking here Select and then Download. And this here will let you download the database and save it to your computer. All right, now that we've backed up our database, the next thing to do is download the WordPress package. I've already downloaded the package to my desktop which is this right here and I'm going to extract it right now to my desktop and it should create a folder called WordPress so I'm going to connect back to my FTP of uh, my blog and then you have to make sure in the root directory of your blog you're going to open this WordPress folder and now this is a very important step. You want to select all the files except for one, the wp-config.php file. You do not want to upload because this will override your current database settings. So I'm just going to not select that one. So here I've selected all the files in this WordPress folder. And I'm going to just simply upload them over the directory of my current blog. And this is going to take a few minutes, so I'll return when this is done uploading. 
Okay, now that we've finished uploading all the files, we need to navigate to our browser. So I'm going to open up my browser, and you want to go to the name of your website, forward slash WP admin forward slash upgrade dot php and you should see a screen similar to the one they see here so you can read again like I had mentioned that when you do this upgrade it will overwrite any blog settings that you currently have and all plugins that you have that are not supported with this package will be deactivated so as long as you understand this we can go ahead and click on upgrade and optimize my WordPress blog and so now that it says it is finished upgrading we will click continue just to note you may have to click continue a few times as it does complete the upgrade process but eventually you will be brought to your main blog homepage which is this here and now you can continue to log into your blog by going to the name of your blog forward slash wp dash admin and be brought to the login screen so here I will log into our upgraded blog okay now that we've logged into our upgraded blog we need to click on settings on the right hand side and then you're going to click on XML sitemap and then you're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom and you should see a button here that says apply Jeff Johnson's configurations so we're going to click on that and then agree to the warning sign and it will complete all the upgrades to all the configurations and customizations to this blog package at this point you've completed the upgrade to your blog